Hey guys, Miss Daly here. Thought I would share a Mother's Day craft or gift idea for you all. Um, I got this idea from a blog post and um, it showed how to do this. It wasn't necessarily for Mother's Day, but I thought it would be a great idea. And um, the, blog, the blog post was on um, a girl in a glue gun. And I shared that original post on Facebook through CLD Art Studio blog. And I'm sure you could probably YouTube um, a girl in a glue gun and be able to find the original. Um, so what we are going to be doing today is um, doing a little bit of embossing and engraving with tinfoil. And um, if any of my CVS kiddos are watching, we have never completed anything like this before, so this will be new. Um, maybe you have already completed something like this at home before, but we have never um, completed a project or anything like this at school. So the supplies that you're really going to need um, include styrofoam, and if you have a styrofoam plate, it will be great, um, but I did not. So I just reused um, a takeout container and I just wiped it out with soap and water really good. And then um, I cut it out so that way I would have a nice flat surface to work with. You don't really want anything with like any type of indention for the front part that we're going to be working with. So I made my shape and then I left the part that had like the Mark's Feed Store on the back. And um, so this is going to be my flat side right here, okay? And I just cut out the shape I wanted, and you all could cut out whatever kind of shape that you wanted to do. So you need some type of styrofoam, and if you don't have a plate, this is something that you can use if you've um, been getting takeout or to go lately. And um, it's a great way to recycle and protect the environment. And the next thing you're going to need is tin foil. Um, I'm going to suggest that we double our tinfoil, double layer it, so two layers, and um, I'll show you that, what we're going to do in a minute. Some type of paper to write a card um, or a message on, and then you're going to need some black paint, some type of tape, paper towels, a dull pencil that's not too sharp scissors, and some type of permanent marker. I'm going to be using Sharpie today. And so what I went ahead and did just right off the bat is I went ahead and I got my piece of paper and I traced the shape of my styrofoam. And I went ahead and I traced it and then I went ahead and wrote out a message for my mom and uh, make sure you date it too. It's always really nice when you're mom or whoever can go back and look at the date and see how old you were when, you know, you gave this gift to them. So um, try to date it. And I'll show you what we do with this in just a little bit. So this gift is going to be like a gift and a card all kind of rolled in one. So go ahead and get your styrofoam shape ready. And if you've just got your plate, just go ahead and start off with that. You don't need to cut or do anything like that. You can just leave it um, the circular shape. So I've got this. Remember, we're using the flat side. So we're going to double up on our tin foil. Um, I'm using the Great Value tin foil from Walmart, and it tends to be um, a little bit thinner. So um, when you're doing this, you have to really make sure that you do not tear the tin foil because the project's not going to work as well. Okay, so I'm just going to double up on this, and I'm going to tear some of this excess off. And then I'm going to wrap this kind of rectangular piece like a present, and you want your um, shiny side up. And so I'm going to wrap it first with my first layer, okay, and you're just going to wrap it like a present. And you're going to do all of the folding and creasing on the back, okay? And you're not going to see this later once I show you what we do. And then it's really important in the front to keep it nice and flat. This is my first layer. That's the front. This is the back. Okay, I'm going to lay this down, smooth it out real good. 
and I'm just wrapping it like a present. And I mean, this is something you could give to mammals, papals, or not papals, mammals, um, your aunts, cousins, anybody who um, takes care of you, okay? That you want to celebrate, okay? So it doesn't just have to be mom, it could be aunts, cousins, mammals. So this is how the front's gonna look, and remember I said I layered it two times. And you're gonna take your dull pencil, and you are going to create a design. And um, you can do whatever you wanna do, just make sure that you don't press too hard because you don't want to rip your tin foil. So I'm going to show you first. I'm just lightly pressing and I've made a vertical line as you can see up and down. And I'm going to spell out mom. But like I said, you can write out aunt, grandma, mamma, whoever takes care of you, okay? Whoever you want to celebrate. Okay. And I'm going to be making um, some boxed type letters to spell out mom. Remember I said don't press too hard, okay? I'm gonna make my last letter. And if you get in a hurry with this, you'll end up pressing too hard. So take your time. Don't get in a rush with it. Okay. So mom is spelled out. And then you can add any other kind of little details you want around it. So for today, I'm just going to be quick so this video is not too long. So now you're going to take your permanent marker. And now you're going to fill in what you've drawn. And I'm going to try to kind of outline my letters with the Sharpie and then fill it in. Okay, so I outlined them first. If you can kind of see, see it now, see the blue. And then I'm going to fill it in with color now. And I will say, you need to let this dry a little bit before you move on to the next step of this because if you don't your marker is not going to be all the way dried and then it's not going to stay on there even though it is permanent you still got to give it some drying time so my m is filled in i'm going to do my heart pink and try to pick colors that you know whoever you're giving this to that they're going to like um, my mom loves aqua and turquoise, so that's why I chose to do the blue. That's my favorite color, too. My CVS kiddos know that. Love me some aqua. Okay. Fill in my heart. And I'm going to go to my lowercase m. This is a great way, too, if you are spelling out words for you to practice letters especially my kindergartners. Okay, now I'm filling in that lowercase m. And then we will let it dry and we'll um, come back to what we gotta do in just a minute after it dries and we'll do the next step. Okay, so here it is. So this is engraving, tinfoil engraving. So now we're going to let this dry for a minute. We're going to set that aside. You're going to come to the piece of paper that you traced your shape on, okay? You're going to write out your message, okay? Make sure you date it, and then we're just going to go ahead and cut it out. Use those good cutting skills to go around your shape. And I just used a scrap piece of paper that I had. So don't feel like that, you know, you have to go out to the store 
and buy anything. Try to use what you've got at home. Like I said, I used a takeout box for the styrofoam part. So. so here is my little message. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape it on the back later. So it's like a gift and a card all in one, okay? And we'll do that um, at the very, very last. I'll show you why in just a second, okay? So we'll set that aside. So now this has probably had some drying time, and you can check by taking your fingers and rubbing it, okay? And I've already got black paint on my hands, but I don't have any blue markers, so I know it's ready. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take a little bit of black paint. Um... I suggest using acrylic, but if you only have tempera, um, go ahead and use it. But I am using um, apple, apple barrel um, acrylic paint, okay? Shake it real good. And sometimes black paint that I get tends to be watery sometimes. So just be careful. Make sure that you check the consistency before you do this, okay? So you're just going to pour just a little bit. Not a lot, okay? A little bit's going to go a long way. And we are actually going to antique this, okay? You're just going to take your paper towel, and you're going to rub gently, okay? Keyword is gently, okay? And I'm just kind of rubbing it first in like a circular motion. I'm trying to let it get in all those different textures, where we have pressed with our pencil and did the temple engraving. Okay. And I'm trying to kind of get around the corners too. All right, so now you're going to notice it is really, really black. Okay. So my suggestion is get a fresh paper towel. And then now what you're going to do is now that that's kind of had time to set, and I try to like grab it at the back where we wrapped it like a present. And that's really like what I'm hanging on to as I'm wiping it. If you want to lay it on your table, you can, okay? Um, but when you're wiping this again, be gentle, okay? Because you don't want to tear your temple. And I always say try to decide like what kind of motion that you're going to go in. I always tell... Um, Whenever my kiddos, whenever they're coloring, try to go in the same direction, okay? So if you're doing a circular motion, just keep doing the circular motion the whole time, okay? So I'm going to keep going with the circular motion, and I've tried to kind of let it dry for a minute. And now I'm just going to go back, and I'm wiping the excess off, okay? And this gives it like an antique effect. It looks vintage. It looks old. And I love anything that looks like this. It looks like it's worn and it's been loved. Okay. And I love it that you can still see the colors showing through. If you accidentally make a mistake, just start over. It's all right. So there it is, as you can see. And so now you'll give this some drying time. But what you're going to do is if you have a hot glue gun, you can hot glue this right on the back. So that way you've got your gift and your card all in one or you can use some tape to put some tape on the temple and try to flatten it out. And then you can tape it on there, okay? So whatever is easiest for you. So I hope you all enjoyed this video today. I hope this has inspired you to make something for those special ladies that are in your life that take care of you and love on you. And um, I hope that this helps you celebrate them. So if you end up doing this craft, you can send me an email, my CVS kiddos. You can drop a picture in the comment box below or send me some pictures on Facebook. So I hope that all of my mamas out there have a great Mother's Day.
Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you later.